Taylor Swift and her boyfriend, boyfriend Travis Kelsey, are spending the evening at... Yeah, don't, don't block us and we'll still go back in here. Come on. They close the gym just for her. For one hour. The luxurious companion. All right, let's dive into the glitzy world of celebrity fashion, where every accessory tells a story. Taylor Swift, the queen of pop, strutting out of a fancy restaurant hand-in-hand -hand with NFL star Travis Kelsey. Now, while their blossoming romance might be the talk of the town, it's Taylor's choice in arm candy that's got tongues wagging. What caught everyone's eye? Well, it wasn't just any old handbag. It was the cream of the crop, a Joseph Duclos Diane messenger bag. Now hold on to your hats, because this ain't your average purse. We're talking about a piece of art crafted by the one and only Ramesh Nair, the creative genius behind Joseph Duclos. So what's the big deal, you ask? Well, this bag is more than just a fashion accessory. It's a masterpiece in its own right. Nair poured his heart and soul into perfecting every stitch, every detail, over the course of a year. That's right, a whole year of blood, sweat, and probably a few tears went into creating this symbol of luxury. But wait, how did this haute couture handbag end up in Taylor's perfectly manicured hands? Enter Joseph Cassell, Swift's trusty stylist extraordinaire. Cassell has an eye for elegance, a knack for sophistication, and most importantly, a direct line to the hottest fashion designers in town. So, when it came time to pick the pièce de résistance for Taylor's lunch date, Cassell knew exactly where to turn. Now here's where the magic happens. Cassell and the Duclos team put their heads together, sifted through racks of exquisite bags, and voila! The Joseph Duclos Diane messenger bag was chosen to grace Taylor's arm on that fateful day. It was a match made in fashion heaven, a fusion of style and substance that only a superstar like Taylor could pull off. So there you have it, folks. The inside scoop on Taylor Swift's luxurious companion. It's not just a handbag, it's a statement, a testament to timeless elegance in a world where fashion reigns supreme. And with Taylor leading the charge, you can bet we'll all be clamoring to get our hands on our very own Joseph Duclos masterpiece. Crafting Timeless Elegance Picture a world where luxury meets craftsmanship, where every stitch tells a story of elegance and refinement. That's the world of Joseph Duclos, where Ramesh Nair, the creative mastermind behind the brand, weaves magic into every handbag. Now, let's rewind to the not-so-distant past, a time when museums were deserted and inspiration seemed to elude even the most creative minds. But not for Ramesh Nair. He saw an opportunity in the quiet halls of history, a chance to immerse himself in the art and culture of centuries past. Armed with nothing but his passion for design and a keen eye for detail, Nair embarked on a journey of discovery. He wandered through the hallowed halls of museums, tracing the footsteps of artists and artisans who came before him. And amidst the relics of bygone eras, he found his muse, the Diane Messenger Bag. But this wasn't just any old bag, this was a masterpiece in the making. Nair poured over every inch of soft leather, every curve of the metallic frame, until he had breathed life into his creation. Inspired by the goddess Diana herself, he adorned the bag with an arrowhead clasp, a nod to strength, grace, and timeless beauty. And so, the Diane Messenger Bag was born, a testament to Nair's dedication to craftsmanship and his reverence for the art of the past. But he didn't stop there. He knew that his creation deserved nothing less than the finest stage on which to shine. Enter Joseph Duclos, a name synonymous with luxury and tradition. With centuries of heritage behind them, they welcomed Nair and his masterpiece with open arms. For Joseph Duclos, the Diane messenger bag wasn't just another accessory, it was a symbol of their commitment to timeless fashion and unparalleled craftsmanship. And so, when Taylor Swift graced the world with her presence, it was only fitting that she should choose the Diane Messenger Bag as her companion. With its blend of elegance and sophistication, it was the perfect accessory for a superstar like Taylor, a true icon of style and grace. 
privacy versus paparazzi. Ah, the sunny shores of the Bahamas, a paradise for vacationers seeking a slice of tropical bliss. But for Taylor and Travis, their romantic getaway turned into a battleground between privacy and paparazzi. Picture the crystal clear waters, powdery white sands, and the gentle rustle of palm trees in the breeze. It should have been the perfect escape for the lovebirds, a chance to unwind away from the prying eyes of the world. But alas, fate had other plans. Taylor Swift and her boyfriend, boyfriend Travis Kelsey, are spending the evening at... As soon as Taylor and Travis touched down in paradise, the paparazzi were hot on their heels, hungry for a glimpse of the superstar couple. And before they knew it, their private moments were splashed across tabloids for all the world to see. Fans were quick to express their outrage, rallying behind Taylor and Travis in their quest for privacy. After all, who can blame them for wanting to enjoy a little R&R without the constant glare of cameras? But try as they might, the paparazzi were relentless. Even on remote islands, Taylor and Travis couldn't escape the lens of the ever-watchful photographers. It was a stark reminder of the price of fame, a constant battle between the desire for privacy and the insatiable appetite for sensationalized news. In the end, Taylor and Travis emerged from their Bahamian getaway with a newfound appreciation for the fleeting moments of solitude. And while the paparazzi may have won this round, the couple's resilience serves as a reminder that some things are worth fighting for, even in the glare of the spotlight. Gym Controversy Welcome to the digital age, where privacy is a luxury and every move is scrutinized under the microscope of social media. Case in point, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's recent gym controversy. Now let's set the scene. Taylor and Travis, two A-listers in their own right, decide to hit the gym for a private workout session. Sounds innocent enough, right? Well, not according to the internet. Word on the virtual street is that the duo allegedly shut down the entire gym just for their personal use. Taylor, when is the wedding? That's Taylor Swift leaving the gym in West Hollywood. How you doing, Taylor? They closed the gym just for her. For one hour. Yeah, Cue the uproar. Accusations of privilege and misuse of resources flooded social media faster than you can say, trending hashtag. Netizens were quick to voice their displeasure, lambasting Taylor and Travis for their supposed entitlement. After all, who do they think they are, shutting down a gym like it's their own personal playground? But hold on just a minute. Before we break out the pitchforks, let's hear the other side of the story. According to the gym's spokesperson, the allegations are nothing more than hot air. In fact, they went on record to say that they've never made anyone wait outside for two hours, celebrity or otherwise. So what's the truth? Well, like most things in the digital age, it's a bit murky. On one hand, you've got the court of public opinion quick to pass judgment based on a few juicy headlines. On the other, you've got the gym's official statement denying any wrongdoing and emphasizing their commitment to member experience. Taylor, when is the wedding? Travis in town, are you showing LA to him? They always close the gym for her. She has a special. But beyond the he said, she said drama, this incident shines a spotlight on the challenges celebrities face in today's hyper connected world. Privacy is a rare commodity, and navigating the murky waters of public scrutiny is no easy feat, especially when every move is dissected and debated in real time on social media. So, as we scroll through our feeds and weigh in on the latest celebrity scandal, let's not forget the human beings behind the headlines. After all, in the digital age, a little empathy can go a long way. Scott Swift's Legal Journey Let's talk about family drama, specifically the kind that plays out in the harsh glare of the public eye. Enter Scott Swift, the patriarch of the Swift clan who found himself at the center of a legal storm during his daughter Taylor's tour in Australia. 
Here's the scoop. Scott was accused of attacking a photographer during a tour stop down under. Cue the headlines, the speculation, and the inevitable frenzy of public scrutiny. But amidst the chaos, one thing remained clear, Scott's innocence. After a thorough investigation by authorities, it was determined that there simply wasn't enough evidence to bring charges against him. And just like that, the storm clouds began to part, allowing the Swift family to breathe a sigh of relief. Taylor Swift's blockbuster Australian tour has ended on a sour note. Oh, no Thank you. Yeah, don't, don't block us and we'll still go in New York. Come on. Her father accused of attacking a photographer at Neutral Bay. But make no mistake, this wasn't just about clearing Scott's name. It was about something much bigger. The Swift's family's ability to move forward without the shadow of legal proceedings hanging over their heads. For Taylor, Scott and their supporters, it was a chance to focus on the music, the tours and the things that truly matter. But let's not gloss over the bigger picture here. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of navigating fame and fortune in today's world. For celebrity families like the Swifts, every move is scrutinized, every misstep magnified, and legal challenges are just par for the course. The paparazzo did not require hospital treatment, but immediately reported the incident to police. Go ahead and step away from the view. The singer's camp has hit back at the allegations, accusing the PAP of crossing the line. So, as the dust settles and life returns to normal for the Swifts, let's remember the human beings behind the headlines. After all, fame may come and go, but family is forever, and in the end, that's all that truly matters. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.